Muslims are a hypocrite religion. They even have a, like when I was a kid, I go to a house of a, a kid in my age and his father sitting in the sofa and he have little rock and he keep hitting his face, his head, forehead with it. So what your, what your father doing? This is funny, you know? Yeah. yeah. He says he is making dark spot. Why he's doing that? He said, because people will think that he is praying all day long. Really? Oh yeah. This is why you see Hamas. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm serious. This is why you see Hamas. They have that dark spot in the top of their head because this is supposedly showing that how many raka, how many bone down. Ah, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't know. Because the Quran says, <laughs> uh, so, so, the, so the, you know, it's a, it's a hypocrite religion. So now every Muslim who want to have, uh, he want to prove himself that he is, you know, he's, he's a, He's a believer. What they do? Let, let me show you this picture so you can understand what I'm talking about. Yeah. Look at this. <clears throat> I just see it in a few seconds. Satanic. I mean, this is satanic. This is Satan. I mean, what the heck is that? I still cannot see it, but uh, just a second. It's going to come to you. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. Oh, wow. This is from Hamas? Yeah, those are my Muslim Brotherhood. All, all Muslims who they are claiming to be religious, they do that, you know, because this is the only way to prove that you are, this because the Quran says, Simatahum ala wujohum, so you have a sign in your face, you have the stamp of the donkey, I call it the stamp of the horse, or the, or the mule, you know? So, what the heck is this? So the guy who was sitting and he have a rock in his hand and he was hitting his forehead, he looks so crazy, I thought his father is crazy, you know? What's wrong with your dad? Why is he doing that? He said he's trying to make a dark spot, stunt to talk. But why is doing that? So people will think he is a good sheikh. He pray a lot. Oh, so, That's okay. really fake. Yeah. yeah. We go, you know, I go to his house in Ramadan. We eat uh, his mom. She have uh, cookies. You know, we are kids. We go to the fridge right away. And we, we, you know, we do invasion for the fridge, for the kitchen. We eat. And I say, hey, listen, isn't it Ramadan? You should not eat. <laughs> All, everybody in my family eat. But hold on. Before we go, hold on, hold on. So before we go to the kitchen, he go there and he put salt over his lips. So I was saying to him, what are you doing? You look funny, you know? He don't talk because if he talk, the salt will drop, you know? Yeah. You know. Like, so he waited for some time. He keep adding salt on his uh, in his lips. Then I said, what you did, man? What you are doing that? He said, my dad, he do that. All my family, they do that. I said, why you do that? He said, because salt will dry your lips. So when you go out, nobody will notice that you are eating. So, oh, oh wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> So I learned a lot of tricks from the Muslims, you know, like so. And now you know how, how to make yourself look fasting. You put salt for a good time. You keep putting salt and then the salt will suck any humidity in your lips, which will make it you did not drink for a long time. You did not eat for a long time. So his father, I mean, he's a kid. There is no way he's the one who would come with this idea. He told me, my dad, everybody do that, you know. Just, you want some? I said, no, I'm Christian. Why, who cares about it? <laughs> You want some salt? <laughs>